Hello everyone, welcome back again to FN Engineering channel. Today, we will continue regarding the common type of cell and tube exchanger based on international standards. Previously, we have discussed the cell and tube exchanger type based on the TMA standard and HEI standard. If you don't see yet the video, I always recommend you to see the video first because the video will be related to this video. Before we continue, please support this channel by like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Alright, in this video, we are going to know the cell and tube exchanger configuration based on ESME standard and other standards. First, we are going to describe based on the ESME standard. The detailed explanation about cell and tube exchanger type in the ESME standard you can look for in the ESME section 8, division 1, subsection C, part UHX regarding cell and tube exchanger. In general, cell and tube exchanger based on UHX consists of three types of heat exchanger, namely U tube heat exchanger fixed tube seat heat exchangers, and floating heat exchangers. In SME UHX cell and tube exchanger type, each of types have characteristics in the tube seat and rear head arrangements. In the next slide, we are going to know the tube seat configuration in the YouTube tube seat type. We have six types of tube seat. These types are almost similar to heat exchanger institute stationary tube seat arrangements. There are type A or tube seat integral with shell and channel. Type B tube seat is integral with shell extended as flange and gasket on the channel side. Type C is similar to type B, but tube seat is not extended as flange. So we need additional backing device in the shell side. Type D, the gasket on both sides, channel side and cell side. Moreover, tube seat can be extended as flange or not. Type E is opposite to type B, and type F is also opposite with type C. The next material is tube seat configuration for fixed tube seat. These types have only four types, namely type A, type B, type C, and type D. These types are the same with type A until D in the YouTube heat exchanger, and we have explained in the previous slide. Alright, now turn on to the floating tube seat. In SME UHX, there are three types of floating tube seat that are immersed floating head, externally sealed floating head, and internally sealed floating head. We try to briefly explain each type. Immersed floating head is a floating head totally at the inside of the channel. This type is equivalent to TMA type S or type T and HEI type 5 or type 6. The next type is externally sealed floating head. A pack of floating head at the outside of the channel. This type is equivalent to TMA type P and HEI type 7. The last type is internally sealed floating head where a pack of floating head at the inside of the channel. This type is also similar to TMA type W and HEI type 8. In addition, floating tube seat has different characteristics in the stationary tube seat or floating tube seat. The stationary tube seat is the same with tube seat configuration of YouTube with passenger, namely type A, type B, type C, type D, type E, and type F. Meanwhile, the floating tube seat has four different types, namely type A uppercase, type B uppercase, type C uppercase, and type D uppercase. 
In this slide is the stationary chipset configuration. They are the same as the previous slide. So, they are the same as the previous slide. Type A, Type B, Type C, Type D, Type E, and Type F. So, we go to the next slide. These are floating chipset configuration. In order to distinguish with the stationary chipset, we, we use the uppercase symbol, namely type A, type B, type C, or type D. Type A is an integral chipset or chipset integral with the channel. Type B is a gasket on the channel side and chipset as a flange. Meanwhile, the type C is the same with type B, but the chipset is not extended as a flange. The last type is type D. Type D is chipset internally sealed or a packing at inside of the channel. Alright, we go to the next material. We are going to explain the hairpin heat exchanger. Sometimes, hairpin heat exchanger is called by double pipe heat exchangers. The main characteristics of hairpin heat exchanger are using a YouTube having two shells and TEMA standards about cell and tube heat exchangers. Moreover, hairpin heat exchanger has two types of the closure of front head that are common front closure or using a tube seat. Separated front closure uses two uses two tube seats and packing in the cell side and the channel side and also the packings are separated. Alright everyone, thank you for watching my video. If you have some comments or suggestion, please write on the comment column. And if you get something new from this video, please like my video, subscribe to my channel, share this video or channel to others, and turn on the notification from this channel to get updated video from FN Engineering channel. See you next time.